Welcome. In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing and quick summary for setup of the Star Wars Outer Rim game. So down at the table, let's get the shrink wrap off and go ahead and explain my first tragedy with this game. Got in the car and the box went from the car seat to the floor. So a little damage in the outer rim already. But anyway, other than that, here's the box cover. Game of Bounty Hunters, Mercenaries and Smugglers for one to four players. Star Wars Outer Rim. Everything you've heard about me is true. Lando Calrissian. In Star Wars Outer Rim, you and your friends take on the roles of bounty hunters, smugglers, and mercenaries and set out to make your mark on the galaxy. You'll travel the Outer Rim in your personal ship, hire legendary Star Wars characters to join your crew, and try to become the most famous or infamous outlaw in the galaxy. Will you make a name for yourself by hunting bounties for the huts, stealing for the crime syndicates, or smuggling goods past Imperial patrols? All this and more is possible as you adventure through the outskirts of the known galaxy. Set your coordinates, gather your crew, and make the jump to hyperspace with Star Wars Outer Rim. And they do a good job of showing you the components on the back of the box. And if you're one of those people like me, typically, let you know how many packs of sleeves and what type you'll need for the game. Of course, this is for ages 14 and up, one to four players, and games last between two and three hours. So let's go ahead and take the cover off and see what's inside. Fantasy Flight's typical product catalog. So you can see everything they've got coming out. Their typical learn to play and rules reference, which has been good to learn to play. We'll take a look at game overview, how to use the book, key concepts. A component list, which is always nice. How to set the game up. And I'll probably do a separate video on actual game setup. After I get a couple plays in. How to play the game, winning the game, and just general rules to get your first play in. And then of course their rules reference. Gives you an index on the back and their typical alphabetical reference to hopefully make the rest of the game easy to find if you have questions. Then we've got some shrink wrap cardboard. We've got some of the tiles for making our map. It was typical Fantasy Flight, good thick cardboard stock. Items punch out pretty easily. So it looks like we've got more damage tokens, some credits. More map tiles, some contacts we can meet on the side. Mo money, random tokens, more map tiles, and stand ups for our characters. And then ships that'll be hunting us down on the map. Then, of course. Got some bags of a bunch of cards. I'll break this stuff out here in a little bit. Standees and dice, so we can get a closer look. And then underneath our ships and player boards. And here's all the components laid out on the table. You can see our player board with your tokens. Available ships, which we'll take a closer look at shortly. Market cards. Our character standees 
and cards, data bank cards, and the AI cards, and of course our handy player turn order cards. And then around the edge we have our map and encounter cards for each of the planets. And laid out on the map you will see patrol tokens at the end of each map and contact tokens throughout the map in these locations, which we'll take a closer look at here, along with their dice, damage, gold tokens, and credits. Start looking at the different ships. Each of the cards are double-sided with just, while it's the same ship, there is some variability. So here we've got the Millennium Falcon and just a modified Y T-1300 on the other side. Fire Spray, or Slave One. YV-666 Light Freighter, or the Hound's Tooth. Aggressor Class Assault Fighter, IG-2000. Heavy Duty Lifter, Archangel. Lancer Class Pursuit Craft, and the Shadow Caster. HWK-290 Freighter, the Moldy Crow, GX-1 Short Hauler, the Loris, and then we have four starter cards. Each one of them is going to have either options of the G-1A Starfighter and G-9 Rigger. As for the player boards, we've got a place for you to track your fame, put your character cards, gear, jobs and bounties, and then reputation trackers. So whether you're good with a group, okay with a group, or not so well with a group. Then we have the market decks, starting with the bounties. So if we're getting bounties on people, Let's see here, Greedo, Forlom, Maz Kanata, Chewbacca, and wanted jobs. Then a job deck, which will give you a different variety of jobs you can go through. And hired help. Cargo deck, giving you options for cargo to sell or get money. Or credits in this game. Gear and mod deck, a bunch of weapons, and other items. The luxury deck, so it should have some nice items here, some jewels, Mandalorian armor, and our ship deck. So, Options of buying, upgrading, and buying new ships, going from $5,000 up to $20,000, and a special, buying used ships for sale that will start the game with some damage on them. The AI deck, if you're playing solo games, so that'll go through a AI player turn. Nice deck of data bank cards. So our starting characters and other things might have us pick these up to, for different scenarios. And of course the characters we can play. Bosk, Ketsu, IG-88, Boba Fett, Jyn Erso, Dr. Afra, Han Solo, and Lando Calrissian. So, just curious if I do a playthrough of this, which ones you think I should pick up for my character and for the AI, if you wanna put your comments below. And of course, plenty of credits, some gold tokens, damage, and our reason why I'll get damage, our lucky dice. And then just our encounter cards. So they're all gonna be different things for different planets. So to go through 
just random items until I read the rules. I don't know what I'm looking at either. As typical with Fantasy Flight Games, in the Learn to Play guide is a, goes over a setup. So as you can see, build the map. So it tells you where each map token will go, which I've already laid out here, just like if we were playing a game. After the map is constructed, you'll set up patrol tokens. So these will be the ships that are coming after you. So on the back of those, they've got pips on them. They're level one. You'll, they'll go in the first spot shown on the map according to their type of ship. And then four, three, and two will get put on the edge of the map. Then next is setting up the contacts around the board, three different varieties. And on the map, it tells you which type to put on the board. So it'll be random who you will encounter when you are exploring through space. Next will be choosing your character. And of course they tell you each piece that comes with it and how you'll set it up. So you'll get your character card, which will have a personalized goal. You'll get your standee, your player board starting at zero fame, and then each of your tokens for the factions. You'll pick one of the starter ships one side and place it next to each other. Player turn mark it, and then your starting credits, which will vary depending on turn order. So if I wanted to set up a character, we'll just pretend I'm gonna be Bosk. My personal goal is listed here, along with our keywords, and it tells us what setup card we'd start with, number 90, and that we would start with a positive hut reputation. So we put our character sheet down here, move our hut to the positive side, and all the others would start in a neutral location. Grab our token, decide which starter ship we're gonna to go to, and just place that beside our player board. Take our player turn order. So you can see there's three steps, and it goes through each step on what you'll do on your turn. And on the back, remind you how to gain fame and what to do on skill tests. And depending on your player order, you'll start between four and 10,000 credits. Starts with card number 90. So it would go through this deck till we find the 90. And there's multiples of cards. So we would just pick one of these telling us how we start the game. So this tells us our starting planet and gives us a bounty to start the game with. So we'd go ahead and put this down on our player board and then move our token to our starting planet. And then for each of the market decks, they would be shuffled and you would reveal the top card of each. And all the encounter cards would be placed around the board according to their maps. And then you are ready for play. Hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing and summary for setup. If so, please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.